Now, the last thing I want to talk about today is recharge ports. This is a 2.1 millimeter Switchcraft recharge port from the Custom Saber Shop. This is your typical Saber Forge uh, 12 millimeter recharge port. It's actually a 2.1 millimeter recharge port. And then this is a small micro recharge port. This is a 1.3 millimeter recharge port. And the thing that all three recharge ports have in common is they have three legs. So when you plug your charger in to a recharge port, and I'm going to get out my charger off screen, and I'm going to bring my charger head in, and you plug your charger into the recharge port, one of these legs is positive, one is negative to the battery, and the other is disconnected. And the one that's disconnected, disconnected is your negative feed that's going to go to your board. So if you're not sure which leg is which, you can always plug it into a charger and then break out your handy dandy voltmeter. And I'm going to put the alligator clips onto my probes. And I've got my voltmeter set to 9 volts as you can see here and I'm going to probe this recharge port to figure out which leg is the cutoff leg. So I am going to guess that this is positive because I'm pretty sure that it is the one with the bolt on it and then I'm gonna test this one. Look at that. See my smart chargers putting volt sense out. So indeed I was right that this leg is positive, this leg is negative, and that means the third leg, the one that my alligator clips are not connected to, is the cutoff leg. So now what I'm going to do is take my magic sharpie, and I'm going to put sharpie on my cutoff leg, and then I'm going to Put positive on my positive leg. So I know this is my cutoff leg, this is my negative leg, and this is my positive leg. Now, on these Switchcraft recharge ports from TCSS, these 2.1 millimeter Switchcraft recharge ports, I know that the leg with the SC on it, the Switchcraft logo, is your cutoff leg. And then I also know that the center pin is my positive. So this should be my negative, and this should be my positive, if I'm right. We'll see the voltage readout. Oops. See the voltage readout? Sorry, my contacts were touching. So my smart charger, I have a TCSS smart charger, it can charge uh, 3.7 or 7.4 volts so it sends volt sense so it's actually sending voltage to the charger uh, trying to figure out what voltage the battery is that's attached to it but those voltage readings tell you that my guess is correct on those legs and then lastly the 1.3 millimeter recharge port the really small one uh, now, I don't know if I have an adapter for the 1.3 millimeter recharge port. Stand by. All right, everybody, welcome back. So what I've done is I've taken a 2.1 millimeter charger plug. This goes into our 2.1 millimeter port. And I've quick and dirty made an adapter using a 2.1 millimeter recharge port. And you remember, this is the same one we marked our cutoff leg on. And indeed, I'm going to cut that leg off because we don't need it. This is a 2.1 millimeter to 1.3 millimeter adapter. I'm going to plug our 2.1 millimeter adapter into our charger. Now I'm going to plug our 1.3 millimeter into the charger and let's see what we have. I'm guessing that this is going to be the positive pin and let's see if this one on the side is the negative. And it is. which means that this other pin that we haven't connected this other pin that we haven't connected is our cutoff leg so I'm going to draw on that that that's cutoff 
And when I paint that, I know it's the cutoff leg. That's the one that's going to get my white wire. So typically how I wire these recharge ports is red wire to positive, white wire to cut off, and black wire from the battery to the negative leg on the recharge port. But that's a simple way at home where you can test these with a charger and a multimeter about which leg is which, if you don't know. Once you wired enough of them, you know which leg is which. So now we're going to actually wire our recharge port for our Sabre that we're building. And I'm using this 12 millimeter Sabre Forge style recharge port. That's going to be our recharge port on the Sabre. Now if you remember, my battery negative is actually coming from our, from our uh, chassis. So I can't wire the battery negative on this until I get my chassis. But I can certainly wire up the positive and the cutoff leg. Alright, it's recharge port wiring time. You know, I really didn't even want a recharge port on this saver, but since we're doing a tutorial here, I figured we might as well do a recharge port too. So I have tinned both my 22 gauge red wire for positive, and I have tinned the positive pad on this recharge port. We know it's positive because we just researched this a little while ago. And that's really not... Let's try... I'm liking that a lot better. And I also know that my cutoff leg, the one that we're wearing, is going to be this one near the middle. So I'm using white wire, and this is long enough to get from the recharge port well past the end of our hill. Oh yeah, by at least 8 inches. So I'm going to take this white wire, which this is going to be, this wire will be the negative to our soundboard. Remember, the negative we wired from the negative battery terminal is the black wire that's coming up through the chassis. And we won't be able to finish installing this recharge port until we attach that wire. Which, that's bringing up an interesting question. How am I going to get my nut around this recharge port because the, the way I ran that wire. We may have to cut the wire and join it, which I don't like doing that, but there is no other way to do this because of the way that we're wiring this saber. The important thing is that you understand how to get, how to wire these things. Each saber carries its own engineering dilemmas that you have to figure out. That's a good joint there. Each of these sabers carries its own dilemmas that you've got to work through. Um, every saber has its challenges. Every, you know, it's, it's good to try to think these through before you build them. And unfortunately, on this one, I didn't really think this through or I would have recognized this was going to be an issue. Now I'm cutting some shrink wrap and I'm using some shrink here. I'm going to put it down this wire. I should have put it on before I soldered. Always remember to put your shrink on before you solder. That's always a good rule of thumb. Putting my shrink wrap up over our negative cutoff leg and now this will be shrink wrap going over our positive leg. And I think since I do have to cut that wire or join it, I think I'm going to cut a small piece of black wire and actually solder on my black wire on the recharge port so we can go ahead and prepare for install. And then I'll just have to join this black wire and my black wire coming from my chassis 
and of course once I join them I will shrink them to increase their strength so I've got a piece of 20 all this is 22 gauge that I'm working with on this recharge port anything from the battery recharge port or NeoPixel supply lines needs to be a heavy duty gauge wire either 20 or 22 gauge wire to carry these to carry the amp loads now I'm going to pretend my negative post bada bing and I'm going to grab my forceps and I'm going to hold on to that wire with my forceps and oh, that figures you want to do that right and I'm going to bring this a little bit lower so I can brace myself against the table so you don't see how shaky my hands really are bada bing that's a good joint there you gotta like that so now I'm gonna cut a third piece of shrink <coughs> to go over our negative port and the good news is is now I will actually be able to install this in the saber and I think pushing that piece of shrink as far as I can up over that. It's a pretty big nub. That's pretty good. Now let's shrink those up. Uh -huh. You can use your iron for this too. I just have my hot air gun here. Uh -huh. I also used to use a, a hair dryer type gun for that. So now our recharge port is wired. Let me get this out of the way. And I don't know if I should install this recharge port yet or not. Stand by. 